So this is uh, this is called the ground drone. Ground drone. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to describe it. Let's talk about you first. First time I met was in a conference probably about four years ago, and it had this little robot. What was that robot called? Uh, probably Fonzie. Fonzie. Yeah, it's yeah. Fonzie the robot. And Fonzie <laughs> the robot is a bit of a rock star. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no, not tonight. It was uh, it was actually here last year. Oh, you were here uh, last year. Yeah, okay. but uh, tonight we're presenting something something new. Okay. It's and a little bit about yourself. Who are you? Tell us okay. So my name is Limor Schweitzer. I've been um, running a company called RoboSavvy for the past 11 years. And RoboSavvy uh, uh, is an online business selling primarily makers, tools, um, tools for, for educators, for research, in um, anything to do with robotics, uh, 3D printing, uh, electronics. So uh, about 11 years ago, after I sold my company, which was in telecom billing, uh, of all things. Uh, yeah, that's a big, a big leap. <laughs> yeah, forward thinking. So it was a, a bit too far, um, a bit too advanced for, for its time. But uh, initially, the idea was to create a, ro a company that would uh, develop um, fighting robots that would uh, bring some violence from the television into the living room. And, um, and that wasn't fundable at the time. Um, so, in the meantime, I, I developed a retail, an online retail business that would uh, eventually sponsor some of the development that we do. So, the, the interesting bit that we do is we develop custom robots uh, for universities, for media. Fonsi was part of um, a, a live event for Channel 5, the gadget show. Um, we, we did uh, different projects. Recently, we did a project with uh, Sachi and Sachi. Uh, for uh, a campaign for selling sausages with a big humanoid robot uh, called Frank the Robot and Ali A, the, the celebrity gamer. Okay. Um, awesome. Yeah. So I'll pass over to you and the newest generation. Yeah. Of those so um, <clears throat> we all know that robots will eventually be among us and will do a lot of useful things and will uh, help us uh, help us to. Uh, the, uh, the mundane work. Um, the, what we've seen in recent years is that there are more and more robots. There's a lot of investment going into robotics. And what we want to develop is, is a platform that is able to immerse itself within humans in a safe way and, uh, and uh, do different uh, services um, such as delivery and uh, security and handing out uh, um, drinks at a bar or cleaning up the house. Now, our, uh, this platform that we developed is based on a, on a Segway robot um, where we hacked completely the electronics and we put a big computer inside. And what's unique about this platform is that it has a camera and the camera feed goes into the computer which then is able to control the robot. That brings some interesting uh, applications. The first application that we're doing is, is a cameraman. It's basically replacing, in a way, one day, the cameraman, the function of the cameraman, uh, by being able to control the camera, just like a drone that flies. This would be a ground drone. And the, uh, the camera robot is able to understand the environment using um, artificial intelligence and different sensors that are available today. It is able to understand the environment and uh, create a trajectory for the camera. So, for example, today in, in Hollywood, if you, are, uh, if you want to do a shot, just a linear shot like this, you need to bring rails. Um, it, it costs a lot. And we want to democratize a lot of these shots. If you've seen the movie Gravity, they used huge industrial robots. Uh, to create all those amazing shots. So uh, we're developing a system that will allow affordably to do a lot of these shots, not just with um, the aerial shots with the drones, but with uh, a platform that is based on the ground and can do 
um, can do partially artificial intelligence, independent, and partly um, remote controlled. What I'm going to try and show here are uh, a couple of um, demos using, uh, using this system. Um, the first one is uh, essentially a... Um, uh, it's, it's, imagine the, the camera is on a tripod and it tracks my face. Now, it's able to track my face today. Every camera has the, uh, the notion of face tracking in order to focus the lens. But in this case, the face tracking can be used to actually track me as I move around. Where would this would be useful is, for example, uh, tracking the speaker in a conference or doing um, video calls or tracking your, your pet or tracking your baby uh, or tracking the bride in a, in a wedding. Uh, so let me try and, um, and see if this works. So right now I'm manually focusing uh, the, uh, the camera so that it sees me. And now what I'm going to do is, tell, is enable the, uh, the face tracking. So now hopefully the, uh, the camera tracks my face. So it's not, right now it's not remote controlled. It just it keeps track of where my face is and, and moves just the camera. Um, now, the other um, application, which I'm going to try and demonstrate here without uh, getting the robot to fall off the stage, is, um, is imagine the robot is on rails. Um, let's move him like this. Uh, okay. Okay, so as I, as I move, let me just see, it's not, it's supposed to uh, move the whole robot platform, which is not doing for some reason, but um, maybe like this. Yep. So, the, uh, the challenge here in this environment is, of course, uh, it's a live stage event, so nothing usually works. And we have, um, this is kind of a first prototype of the system. Uh, let me see if it works now. Okay. Okay, it is moving and hopefully not off the stage. Yeah. <laughs> so as I as I move, it moves. Imagine it's a rail. Yeah, it's limited here. Um, the stage is a bit too small for this demo. Let's see. Okay, the next one hopefully will be a bit easier. So in this case. It's got, as you can see, it has a Kinect sensor, um, a prime sense sensor, sorry for... Uh, so the, this sensor is, uh, is a camera that is, able to, that is able to identify people. So it understands the human anatomy, and it knows how to... Um, sorry, just let me do this. So it understands the human anatomy and it can, track, it can track me as I move around. So I'm going to position him again. Okay. And now as I'm moving, you can see that the, uh, the robot is tracking me. When I move back, it's, it's following. So this one day we will replace the, uh, the cameraman at the wedding, for example. And follow the bride. And the interesting, um, interesting thing about having all these sensors is that the, uh, the robot can avoid uh, impact with people and, and can basically be immersed in a crowd or in, a, in the context of a, a situation where people are around. Um, now, 
One more, one more example of a, of a use case here. Um, we have here a little bunny. And the, um, if you put it here. So the idea here is that this is something that is not possible. This shot is something that is not possible to be executed by a human. Basically, I, I, um, I'm going to zoom into the, into the rabbit and then move the camera around it. And the computer is going to keep track of where the rabbit is on the floor. Let me just see if this works. OK. So um, I need the, the camera feed on the, from the camera. Is it? There it is. So as I'm moving the robot around, he keeps the camera in focus. So imagine a, uh, if you want to focus on a, on a cup while you're holding the cup and moving the camera around. This is a shot that would be normally very expensive to be executed uh, with, uh, with standard um, equipment. Or uh, when, you see, um, when you see sort of zoom ins into insects and small objects. And here he's, he's tracking the rabbit at all time. I can even change the, the zoom length. And he will keep the, uh, the object in, in focus. So that's, uh, that's basically it. I had my uh, 10 minutes of, uh, of, uh, of a demo, a new type of, of robot that is a cameraman robot. And the applications could be used for uh, not just cameraman, but uh, delivery, security, anything that requires um, immersion of a robot inside a human uh, environment while understanding the context through um, looking at the, um, at, through the lens and mixing artificial intelligence with uh, remote control. Um, so you've seen the future of video production here. Thank you.